calculate the complex number to trigonometry today. We're going to find its absolute value and we're going to convert our complex number to its trig form and to its polar coordinate. So the first thing that we need to know to be able to answer all these questions is to understand how the graph of a complex number look like in an xy plane. Now in an xy plane, the x-axis will be your real part and your y-axis will be your imaginary part. So if we have a plus bi to graph this complex number, you simply graph the real part, which is your a value, and your imaginary part, which is your b, along the y-axis. Since it's positive, it's right here on this axis. So the point that intersects a plus bi will be your graph for a plus bi. Now, to give you a specific example of certain graphs of complex or complex number, we have 2 plus 3i and negative 4 plus 2i. To graph our first complex number, we have positive 2 for a, or the real part, and we have positive 3i for our imaginary part. So positive 2, you count 2 from 0, 1, 2, so this is 2, and you count 3 up, 1, 2, 3, and this is the point of your complex number, or the graph of your complex number 2 plus 3i. And to graph negative 4 plus 2i, Negative 4 is on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 2i is your imaginary part, so you go up 2 units, 1, 2. And this will be the graph of your complex number, negative 4 plus 2i. Now that you understand how the graph of a complex number is plot against, plotted against the xy plane, we're going to find the absolute value of a complex number in this particular topic. So to find the absolute value, you should understand that it's basically the distance of the complex number from the point of origin. And the formula to find the absolute value of a complex number is square root of a squared plus b squared. So given an example, let's say I have 3 minus 2i, to find the absolute value or the distance of this complex number from the point of origin, we'll use the formula square root of a squared plus b squared. And in this case, a is 3 and b is negative 2. So you have 3 squared plus negative 2 squared, which gives you 9 plus 4, and 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. So therefore, the distance of 3 minus 2i from the point of origin is square root of 13. Now for our second example, let's compare which one will be uh, the shorter distance or closer to the point of origin. Is it going to be negative 2 plus 5i or negative 6i? And to do this, we can measure it by using the absolute value of the complex number. So for the first complex number, negative 2 plus 5i, using the formula of the absolute value or the distance of the, point of the complex number from the point of origin, you substitute your formula to a and b, so you'll have negative 2 squared plus 5 squared, which gives you square root of 29. And square root of 29, using your calculator, is 5.38. And for the second complex number, to figure out if it's going to be closer to the point of origin, you will use the same formula. And by using the formula, we found out that it's square root of 36, or simply 6. Now, to illustrate your complex number into a graph, this is negative 2 plus 5i and this is negative 6i, and using the absolute value, we found out that 5.38 is closer to the point of origin, so therefore, negative 2 plus 5i is closer to the, this, or has a closer distance from the point of origin using our formula. Now, another application of uh, the complex number in trigonometry is to change it into its trigonometric form and in the process we'll be able to find its polar coordinate. So this will be our complex number and sometimes they call it as the rectangular coordinate. And we're going to change it into its trigonometric form and for the trigonometric form we'll have z is equal to r times cosine theta plus i sine theta. So how am I going to change a plus bi into r cosine theta plus i sine theta? We have a series of steps on how to change the complex number to its trig form. And we have three steps that I'm going to show you so we can change it into its trig form. So our first example, we have 4 plus 3i, and we're converting it to its trig form. So the first step is to find the value of r. After finding the value of r, 
we're going to find the value of theta. And once you found that value of theta, we can rewrite a plus bi into this format. So first, let's compute for r. And r is basically the absolute value of your complex number, or simply the length of your complex number to the point of origin. So you have square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared, which gives you square root of 25, and square root of 25 is 5. So r is equal to 5 from 4, for, uh, 4 plus 3i. And for the second step, we need to find the angle. And to find the angle, the formula to use will be 10 inverse b over a. So to find the theta or the angle, b will be 3 and a is 4. And using the formula, 10 inverse of 3 over 4 will give you 0.75. And to find the specific value of this angle, you will need your calculator to find theta. And theta is equal to 36.9. So now that we have the two important things that we need to use to change it into its trig form, we can rewrite our complex number to its trigonometric form. So to convert it, just plug in the value of r, which is 5, and the value of theta, which is 36.9, into your formula. So therefore, 4 plus 3i in its trigonometric form will be 5 times cosine 36.9 plus i sine 36.9. And if you further simplify this into its polar coordinate, you can simply write r and theta in a parenthesis. So this is the polar coordinate of, or the polar coordinate form of your trig function in a, uh, from a complex number. Now for our last example, let's answer the following questions. One is to sketch the graph of the complex number. The second one is finding its absolute value. And the third question is to convert 3 minus 5y to its polar coordinate. So let's have 3 minus 5y for our complex number. And to graph 3 minus 5y, 3 is your real part. So you have 1, 2, 3, or positive 3 along the x-axis. And you have negative 5 along the y-axis. So you have your complex number 3 minus 5i in the fourth quadrant. Now to find the absolute value so we can find the distance from the point of origin to 3 minus 5i, simply use the formula square root of a squared plus b squared and we'll find square root of 34. So the absolute value of the complex number is square root of 34, which is basically giving us the distance from 0, 0 to 3 minus 5i. And to convert this into polar coordinate, we need to first change it into its trigonometric form. So now that we have our r, because r is simply the absolute value of your complex number, r is equal to square root of 34. Now we just need to find the angle. So theta is equal to 10 inverse b all over a. And using your calculator, theta is equal to negative 59.04. Now we have a negative angle because the angle form for 3 minus 5i from the standard um, uh, form of your angle is going to give you a negative angle. So that's why you have negative 59.04. And converting it into its trigonometric form, you have square root of 34 times cosine negative 59.04 plus i sine negative 59.04 or simply parentheses square root of 34 and negative 59.04, wherein 34 is your r, and this one will be your theta. And that's how we convert our complex number.